Rishi Raj Singh is one of the co-founders and directors of Indian Political Action Committee IPAC. Rishi was one of the co-founders of IPAC and one of the brains and strategists behind that famous body which really brought an entire genre of election management to the fore. Rishi, you worked with uh, HSBC Credit Suisse in the past. Now you work with Mamta Banerjee. Ek taraf Credit Suisse, ek taraf Mamta Banerjee. How does that dynamic work? See, it's not about any, any leader. I would say one thing we should get it absolutely right. Almost all the leaders at least that I have worked with and that I see at the helm of the affairs in this country are few of the most intelligent ones. And out of their intelligence, they know who to listen to, what to listen to, when to listen to. In today's time, there is no political party who can win an election without a political consultant. Really? I am not saying, I am not saying that you need to have consult or you are winning because of political consultant. What I am saying is, political parties cannot win elections without political consultants. And I will give a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is, the general intent of a politician is for himself or herself to win. It is not about because he himself wants to be MLA or minister. He would not be caring about, you know, a neighbor, rather he would want his neighbor to lose the elections. And it is only the consultant who can give you that 360 degree picture and without any political, personal bias in that. Secondly, I don't think in today's time, I have not seen in any party, in any setting, there is any politician who has guts to go walk up to a leader and give a honest, pure feedback, especially if the, that feedback is negative. I, I want to tell all of you one story. You know, so Rishi and Robin are sitting next to each other, looking very amiable and cordial, which is great. Which we are. Just recently in Andhra Pradesh, their teams were fighting like mad. Rishi was working with the IPAC. IPAC was with uh, Jagan Reddy. Jagan Reddy got defeated quite badly and the man who beat him was Robin. Now, you've been teammates in the past, right? So how does this work? Ki your teams are duking it out, fighting. Do you get together in the evening and get a drink? Ki aaj mere camp pe ye hua, mere camp pe ye. How, how does that dynamic play out? And I think uh, I personally, whether you know he could be working somewhere, I could be working somewhere and 10 other people could be working somewhere. But I really, really take pride in that. Political parties, whether it's the BJP or the Congress, want these consultants or people with consultant skills to come on board. That you join us, like a Sunil Kalagulu in the Congress, many in the BJP, the Association of Billion Minds. Ki baat aap andar aa jao. Ye bahar se nahi chalta. This whole McKinsey model doesn't work. How much pressure is that? That you basically just come and become a card-holding member of the Congress or the BJP. Ye bahar se gyan mat. I think there has to be a group, or they have to be individuals, or they have to be lot many other groups who need to take the responsibility of taking this particular industry to newer heights. And for that very reason, there has to be some sort of independence that these people need to have and then they need to ex exercise. If the parties want to build internal capabilities, they're free to do that. And they're doing that, as you rightly said, in many cases. But for this industry, I believe, after having spent like 11 to 12 years in this industry, I think seriously, there have to be some serious attempt, effort by professionals like us who have seen so much of this industry to actually lift this industry up. Because right now of the political consulting industry, what, what we all of us are seeing is only tip of the iceberg. So you get money in white or in black? Mein? I'll tell you why I'm asking this because a lot of young people who are watching may be interested, but they don't want payment in cash, right? I mean, they want it. Is it, is it like a bona fide job as a political consultant or half payment is in cash and half payment? No, no, I'll answer that, Raul. Political consulting is nothing new. It was there before 2013 and 14 also. After 2013 and 14, why is it that there was this exponential growth in this particular field? It was only because of a lot of professionals coming from really bright field and backgrounds actually becoming part of it. And only because of that collective effort of all those professionals, this industry actually boomed. And right now you could see thousands of you know, such professionals working here. This was made possible because professional practices, ethics and all processes were put in place. So to answer to your question, unless, you know, the complete professional ethics are there, you know, you take all the money in check and as consulting companies work, as media companies work, so do political consulting.
सो यूर ऑल अपोज टू वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन अगर वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन हो गया इनका धंधा तो गया नो 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 राहुल आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट बिजनेस दैट इज गोइंग टू बी हिट इज द मीडिया इंडस्ट्री एंड एंड पॉलिटिकल इंडस्ट्री you know we we have all those elections good that we will get you know holidays for a couple of years right. and by the way picking up a client i think it is just like a marriage some day you happen to meet somebody somewhere and it works out between you and you decide to be together but that relationship only continues if there is that unbreakable trust between the two if that trust is broken then it doesn't go forward How do you deal with that? Most of the leaders, Mamta Banerjee has spent more than 50 years in politics. Uh, Ekta Chinde has risen from uh, being a corporator to yeah. the chief minister, Ajit Pawar. You know, he has probably more experience than number of elections you might have handled. How do you go and tell them that no, boss, you have a need for us, and you have to come to us? Political consultants, they are like a mirror. Right. Even when you have to shave your own face, right? You need a mirror. It's your face. but because there are blind spots because you can't see certain things which are there so that is why you need that mirror and as i said going ahead right what political consulting used to be invest in 1960s when it used to be only about tv ads and media training versus what it became to 1980s and 1990s when it also included voter outreach when it also included raising funds and then what it happened in 2000s when actually this digital data analysis and so many other technologies came into picture i think with the growing trend and with the growing awareness it's not just the people sitting in this room who are getting aware i think even those leaders they are getting aware of all those avenues where they see a lot of growth capabilities and potential and for that they they tend to choose and work with certain so i have a question in public interest do you get like a victory bonus like you get a sales incentive do you get a victory bonus ki stalin ko jita diya na dmk se okay rishi victory bonus i wish we would have but so far no 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 luck there but uh, for all the leaders and the parties that we have worked with if they are willing to cover the salaries the expenses of my team that's it nothing more sometimes what happens is when you spend a lot of time strategizing you end up becoming a politician yeah you know we've seen it happened with someone you guys know well prashant kishor sir i have a googly question which i don't know whether you are expecting or not what do you think of prashant kishor's chances in bihar he thinks he'll win bihar rishi i'll start i know robin sir awesome? i think robin should be barred from giving this answer yes rishi see uh, it is i mean i am nobody to comment on that and probably none of us sitting here can actually comment on that but he has been working really really hard there in bihar with best of his intents all our well wishes are with him he is going to give it everything and he will give a very serious fight in bihar but it is up to the people of bihar to decide on that we are nobody to will he be a vote cut or can he make a significant material difference to the outcome See as I said he putting as much as effort can achieve anything what eventually it ends up to is on the people of Bihar how they choose and I want you to join me in raising a very very warm round of applause for these gentlemen and for the young teams they lead but anyway we leave it over there for joining us here at the India Today Conclave for agreeing to be a part of this conversation and for coming out in public and speaking thank you very much we are very very thankful thank you thank you and best wishes to us thank you raise a warm applause ladies and gentlemen as i call upon mudit dalmeya vice president nl dalmeya institute in management studies to come up and present a small token of our appreciation to our panelists this evening